A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three, as simple as do, re, mi. Michael Jackson got it right when he sang those words. Welcome to Plural's ABCs of Art, where we bring you key people, places, ideas, and terms in Southeast Asian art, one letter at a time. Have you ever finger painted a paper plate or made a macaroni necklace? If so, you're probably all too familiar with the term arts and crafts. But wait a minute, why arts and crafts? Why not just art? Oil paintings in a museum? Art. Mosaic lamps along Haji Lane? Craft. Marble sculpture of figures from ancient mythology? Art. Japanese tea bowl in a hipster cafe? Craft. Somehow, we've gotten used to separating our objects of beauty into separate categories. Without even realizing it, most of us have a pretty solid understanding of what crafts are. Crafts are handmade, they are functional, useful, and they belong in our homes, in everyday, ordinary spaces where they decorate and enhance our lives. Crafts have always been with us, since the very first pots were made out of the earth and decorated with deceptively simple designs. But it was only much later that we began to think of crafts in the way that we do now. One reason for this was the disappearance of handmade goods, with machines and factories replacing artisans and craftspeople. By presenting something like this as art, artists like Marcel Duchamp argued that the creative act was thought the concept behind the object rather than its actual production. Crafts that were mainly practiced by women, like sewing, knitting, and weaving, were also perceived as having a lower status, just like their creators were. But artists have always been a rebellious bunch. Many have been incorporating their craft practices into their fine art practices, blurring the lines between the two. This is especially so here in Southeast Asia. Artist Ding Kiu Le is known for using the Vietnamese tradition of grass mat weaving in his large mural-sized tapestries. Along with contemporary images, he cuts archival or found photographs from the Vietnam War era into long strips, splicing and weaving them into large-scale photo montages. These dazzling, fragmented and often confusing images force us to look more closely at Vietnam's tangled histories. Another artist who weaves in the face of trauma is Sophie Pick. As someone who was forced to leave his home in Cambodia due to political violence, the artist finds in his craftsmanship a precious source of spiritual refuge. Can you believe these rattan sculptures were handmade from scratch? The artist sees this time-consuming meditative process as a practice of resilience. Crafts are often a labor of love. Contemporary artist Jeanette Chittick investigates the role of feminized craft practices in what she refers to as the aesthetics of care. My research and practice examines the marginalized status that is accorded to feminine coded crafts. I'm particularly interested in the type of crafts that are associated with the home and the domestic crafts such as yarn spinning, rug tufting, weaving, and latch hooking. The outcomes of these domestic techniques are usually decorative objects that are lovingly made by women who live in the house. They are placed in and about the home and they are almost invisible in its everydayness, you know, sitting in the mundane. And also, you know, in my work, I do want to bring the unseen into view. Crafting has also become a way for artists to engage with the domestic and the everyday. In her 2020 crochet installation for Art Outreach's Art Encounters, Singaporean artist Kelly Limerick, together with a team of volunteers, crocheted yarn into modular forms that can serve as functional objects in day-to-day -day life. The work, Vessels, explores the role of containers in our everyday lives, asking, what defines a vessel? Speaking of vessels, let's not forget the age-old craft of ceramics. Master potter Iskandar Dalil combines playful, modern approaches with timeless techniques and elegant forms. Southeast Asian cultures have been a huge inspiration to Iskandar. Many of his works feature calligraphic motifs, 
Here, he uses the Jawi script, a Malay writing system based on Arabic. With a technique called coiling, the artist created these detailed patterns, which recall the intricate carvings that decorate wayang kulit, Indonesian shadow puppets. As they break down barriers between arts and crafts, artists and craftspeople today create spaces for issues both big and small. What role do crafts play in your life? Are arts and crafts really in two separate categories? Tell us what you think.